this is my second review of NVIDIA Shadowplay. First you need NVIDIA GeForce Experience to be able to use it. Then you just go in Preferences, Shadowplay and you click on this button to see the Shadowplay. It's usually turned off so you have to click on button. And it updated so now first it can capture up to 20 minutes on shadow time. Shadow time is the automatic uh, recording mode. It means it always records but it doesn't save the clips. It only saves if you click the button which is set to uh, Alt plus F10 on my case. I have it actually on a hotkey. But anyway and second most important thing I like is that now it can record in-game audio and microphone. You can select which microphone it captures so if you have more than one I assume that uses the Windows default which is set to default device. In my case it's my Logitech G930 headset. And another thing they updated is that uh, now on the manual mode if you record it manually you don't have to select it manual from here. If in game you have shadow and manual and you start it manually then it, you can record infinitely. It means that it doesn't stop after 10 minutes like it did before. On manual mode it stopped after 10 minutes of recording, but now it doesn't. Instead, it creates a new file and keeps on recording. When a file reaches 3.8 gigabytes, it creates a new file, which is an extremely good feature. Only Fraps had it before, that it splits files every 4 gigabytes. This is really really good option, I really waited for this because uh, when I'm editing videos and the video files are like massive like let's say 20 gigabytes and bigger then they just lag like crazy I mean it takes ages to load them into the into the video editor I'm using uh, Camtasia even in Sony Vegas it still takes very long time to actually load them into the editor and if you cut the clips and add the effects then again it takes a lot longer than on a small clips so this is very good feature, I like that. Now it splits the files automatically and you have no worries. And quality is left same, everything else is pretty much same. Preferences are here, you can change the position where you want to have it, hotkeys, location, again it's, it's the easiest screen capture tool and I think now it is the best screen capture tool. It did have some slight lag issues in, for example, uh, Far Cry 3, which I didn't have with any other recorders. I don't know why. It wasn't like a, like a frame rate lag. Frame rate was still uh, better or same, but it was like my mouse was a little bit laggy, so I have absolutely no idea what was causing it. Uh, it was definitely not the CPU, because Shadowplay doesn't use so much resources as the other recorders, so I don't know what was causing it, but I will test it and see how it goes, but I'm not going to include the tests. I just wanted to make a short review and show that they fixed the three most important things. First of all, records unlimited time. There is no time limit. Second, it splits the files every 3.8 gigabytes on a manual mode. And third, and most important, it records microphone. Again, there is no microphone leveling, so you might have to level it from uh, Windows by default and I haven't tested it but definitely that's um, that's a step up for Shadowplay. Here you have it. If you haven't tested it go for it. It's still in beta and I think they're gonna make a lot of improvements in this tool and you should definitely check it out. But I have to mention it's only for 600 and 700 series GTX cards. So if you don't have a 600 or 700 series card, then I don't think you can use this. But yeah, surely check it out. You won't be disappointed.